Ooh, ooh, hello, hyperspace. My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped because this is some May gameplay on the moon. It's really quick gameplay and really good gameplay. And I have some really quick information about the next Overwatch event, which is Overwatch Anniversary, which should happen on May 22nd. So there's a lot of questions that's going about over the uh, Overwatch Anniversary. I'm going to answer as much as I can here on top of some uh, rumors that's going about. And we don't have a lot of confirmation for the stuff that is going to happen. So stay tuned, and I'll keep you guys p uh, post fulfilled or whatever once we're nearing the 22nd. So, first things first, Overwatch Anniversary is happening on May 22nd, and we will have access to um, a special anniversary loot box that will have all of the previous event items inside of it. That means when this anniversary event comes and you get your special anniversary loot boxes, you can win items from Junkenstein's Halloween event, or last year's Christmas event, or the Summer Games and all that, you can actually win all of this stuff on the 22nd, just as you would with any other loot boxes. It just basically has all of the themed items inside of it. And um, also all of the game modes. You All of the game modes will be active, which means you can play Junkenstein's Revenge, or Lucio Ball, or Uprising, or anything that was in the archives like Retribution and so on. You can also play that in this new Overwatch anniversary. And this anniversary, I don't know how long it's going to be on, but if it's just like all the other events, it'll probably be on for about three weeks to a month. Now, there are some... Um, there's some speculation going about and some things that's raising questions with these new loot boxes that have access to the skins. Now let's actually use the archives for example. Overwatch archives and let's dive into Retribution. You know, when you were playing as Moira McCree, Genji, and Reaper. Let's use these skins for example, right? Let's use uh, Moira's Black Watch skin. Now let's say for example you didn't get Moira's Black Watch skin from the Retribution event. So you had to spend 3,000 coins to get this Moira skin. Because the Retribution event already passed, when it comes back in the Anniversary event, is it still going to have its 3,000 price tag, or is it going to drop down to the 1,000 coin price tag because technically the event already passed? If it drops down to a 1,000 price tag, that would be a terrible decision from Overwatch. A lot of people are going to be really upset because if you actually think about it, People spent 3,000 coins, you know, in-game money, people spent 3,000 coins on these new skins that they didn't get when all they had to do was just wait like two or three weeks later and then they could have just gotten it at a discounted price. So I'm really, really hoping that at least the newest skins, like the uh, Archive skins, still have their $3,000 price tag, while all the other ones, like the last year's Summer Games and so on, they, they can drop down to the 1,000 price tag. And also... We are going to have access to a special, one special golden loot box. And with this one golden loot box, it's going to guarantee you one legendary skin. There's a lot of questions that I have and a lot of people also have about this golden loot box. Yes, it guarantees you one legendary skin. However, what legendary skins are going to be in it? Now, if let's use uh, all of the limited time offer skins, for example. You have the Nor Widowmaker, which you can only get by pre-ordering Overwatch. You have the Pink Mercy skin, which you can only get by supporting Breast Cancer. And you have the Overwatch BlizzCon Bastion and Winston. At the moment, those are skins that you can never get ever again, because Pink Mercy, you had to pay about $15 for it, while the uh, Winston and Bastion was specifically for BlizzCon people, and the Nor Widowmaker was for pre-ordering. Let's use Pink Mercy. If you open up this golden loot box and you get Pink Mercy, that kind of means Blizzard ripped off people 15 bucks. Because yeah, I granted the 15 bucks was going to breast cancer, but some people just spent the 15 dollars for Golden Mercy. Some people spent it for breast cancer for whatever reason. People got a 15 dollar Pink Mercy skin for free in a random golden loot box. So I'm really, really hoping this golden loot box only has access to all of the event skins, i.e., for example, the golden skins from the summer games or the golden skins from Christmas and so on. I'm really, really hoping this golden loot box only has access to legendary event skins and not legendary limited time offer skins. I'll fill you guys up on any information I wind up finding out as the days move on and we approach the anniversary event. If you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force. You can follow me up on Twitter at Devontos Man. And as always, I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day.